Welcome to our channel with new interesting episode. Underwater listening devices might have been created to detect UFOs. Actor turns Howard recently shared shocking discoveries scientists made in the Mariana Trench. After years of mystery, the secrets of Earth's deepest place are being revealed. But what exactly did scientists find thousands of meters below the ocean? What extraordinary life forms and phenomena exist in these dark depths? Let's explore the incredible story and uncover the hidden wonders of the Mariana Trench. Turns Howard reveals what scientists really saw in this deep, mysterious place. Our planet is full of mysteries, from the icy Arctic Circle to scorching deserts and the towering peak of Mount Everest. Humans have explored and documented these diverse environments, revealing incredible insights into the natural world. Yet, one place remains largely unexplored and shrouded in mystery, the Mariana Trench. This trench is the deepest part of the world's oceans, a place so remote and inhospitable that it has escaped extensive study for decades. Located in the western Pacific Ocean, the trench is a crescent-shaped scar in the Earth's crust. It stretches approximately 1,500 kilometers long and reaches depths of over 11,000 meters, making it the deepest known part of the ocean. Named after the nearby Mariana Islands, this trench is a place of extreme pressure and darkness, conditions that make it incredibly challenging to explore. For many years, the Mariana Trench was believed to be a barren, lifeless void. The immense pressure at such depths, over 1,000 times the standard atmospheric pressure at sea level, seemed too hostile for any form of life to survive. However, this assumption was proven wrong in 2012 when filmmaker and explorer James Cameron embarked on a historic solo mission to the bottom of the trench. James Cameron, best known for directing movies like Titanic and Avatar, took on the challenge of exploring the Mariana Trench to uncover its secrets. He descended nearly 11 kilometers into the abyss in the Deep Sea Challenger, a specially designed submersible. This mission marked the first solo dive to such depths and was a significant achievement in ocean exploration. The Deep Sea Challenger was engineered to endure the crushing pressures at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Equipped with advanced scientific instruments and high-definition cameras, the submersible allowed Cameron to document and study the trench like never before. The data and samples collected during this mission have provided invaluable insights into the biology and geology of the deep sea. Cameron's expedition revealed an astonishing array of life forms in the trench. Among his discoveries were unique microorganisms and bacteria thriving in extreme conditions. These tiny organisms form microbial mats, clusters of microorganisms that live off chemicals altered from deep sea rocks. This discovery was groundbreaking, suggesting that life could exist in even the most extreme environments on Earth. The biological processes of these microbial mats are fascinating. They play a crucial role in the deep sea ecosystem by recycling nutrients and forming the base of the food chain. These microorganisms can break down chemicals like hydrogen sulfide, which is toxic to most life forms, and convert it into usable energy. The findings from Cameron's dive have significant implications for our understanding of life on our planet. The presence of these microorganisms in such a hostile environment suggests that life is incredibly resilient and adaptable. These organisms use unique biological processes to survive, processes that could provide insights into the origins of life on Earth. The importance of these findings extends beyond the Mariana Trench. Studying these microorganisms helps scientists understand the potential for life in similar extreme environments on other planets. For instance, if life can exist in the high-pressure, low-temperature conditions of the trench, it might also be possible for life to exist in the subsurface oceans of moons like Europa or Enceladus. In addition to microorganisms, the trench is inhabited by larger creatures that have adapted to the harsh environment. Huge clams, for example, have been found living near hydrothermal vents, where they feed on bacteria that utilize the chemicals released from the Earth's crust. Strange fish species, such as the snailfish, have also been discovered. These fish have unique adaptations, such as gelatinous bodies and specialized proteins, that allow them to survive the extreme pressure and cold temperatures of the deep sea. Following James Cameron's historic dive, several other significant expeditions have ventured into the depths of the Mariana Trench. These missions have continued to uncover new species and bizarre creatures, adding to our understanding of this mysterious part of the ocean. 
One notable expedition was conducted by the Office of Ocean Exploration and Research in 2016. Using the remotely operated vehicle, ROV, Deep Discoverer, scientists explored the trench and discovered several new species of deep-sea organisms. This ROV has been instrumental in several deep-sea expeditions. Unlike manned submersibles, ROVs can be operated from the surface, allowing scientists to explore the deep ocean without the risk associated with human presence. Among the discoveries was a glowing jellyfish that resembled an alien creature, with its long tentacles emitting a bioluminescent glow. This jellyfish was found at a depth of around 3,700 meters in a region known as the Enigma Seamount. Another significant find was the discovery of amphipods, a type of crustacean closely related to shrimp, which can grow to enormous sizes in the trench. While typical amphipods are only a few centimeters long, those found in the Mariana Trench can reach lengths of over a foot. Living under immense pressure and in total darkness, these amphipods have developed several adaptations to thrive. Their bodies are designed to withstand the crushing pressure that would crush most other organisms. They possess a flexible exoskeleton that allows them to move and forage for food despite the intense pressure. Additionally, their metabolic rates are slower, which helps them conserve energy in an environment where food is scarce. Another fascinating discovery is the presence of xenophyophores, type of single-celled organism that can grow to the size of a basketball. These organisms can live in the trench's extreme environment by incorporating sediment particles into their structure, providing additional strength and protection. Yet, some strange encounters in the trench remain unexplained. Scientists reported an astonishing and mysterious encounter during one of the expeditions to the Mariana Trench. Halfway to the bottom of the trench, a large, shining metallic disc was observed floating in the water. This sighting was both unexpected and baffling. The disc was seen gliding smoothly through the water, its metallic surface reflecting the faint light from the submersible lamps. The sighting was brief but impactful. As the researchers watched in awe, the metallic disc emitted a screeching sound that resonated through the submersible. Suddenly, the cameras and instruments aboard the submersible lost their signal, plunging the team into momentary darkness. When the systems came back online, the disc had vanished without a trace. This mysterious disappearance left scientists with more questions than answers. The incident was recorded and analyzed extensively, but no conclusive explanation has been provided for the appearance and sudden disappearance of the metallic disc. Some theories suggest it could be an unknown natural phenomenon, while others speculate about possible man-made or even extraterrestrial origins. The sighting remains one of the most intriguing and unexplained events in deep-sea exploration. Exploring the depths of the Mariana Trench poses significant technological challenges. The extreme conditions, including immense pressure, total darkness, and frigid temperatures, create a hostile environment for both humans and machines. Submersibles, the primary vehicles used for deep-sea exploration, must be meticulously designed and constructed to withstand these harsh conditions. One of the primary challenges faced by submersibles is the intense pressure found at the bottom of the trench, which is over 1,000 times greater than at sea level. This pressure can crush most materials, so submersibles must be built with specialized materials, such as titanium and high-strength composites, to ensure their structural integrity. The design of these vessels often includes spherical shapes, which help distribute the pressure evenly and prevent collapse. Another hurdle is the lack of light in the deep sea. Traditional cameras and sensors are ineffective in such conditions, so submersibles are equipped with powerful lighting systems and advanced imaging technologies, such as high-definition cameras and sonar. These systems enable researchers to capture detailed images and data from the ocean floor despite the absence of natural light. The frigid temperatures in the deep sea also pose a challenge. Electronics and mechanical systems must be insulated and protected to function properly in such cold conditions. Innovations in thermal management and the use of low-temperature resistant materials have been crucial in addressing this issue. Recent advancements in underwater exploration equipment have significantly improved our ability to study the deep sea. Autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, and remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, have become essential tools. AUVs can navigate and collect data without direct human control, making them ideal for mapping large areas of the ocean floor. While technological advancements have opened up new frontiers in deep-sea exploration, 
they have also highlighted the impact of human activity on these fragile ecosystems. Deep sea environments, including the Mariana Trench, increasingly affected by pollution, overfishing, and climate change. One of the most significant environmental impacts is the accumulation of plastic waste. Studies have found plastic debris even in the deepest parts of the ocean, including the Mariana Trench. These plastics can harm marine life, as organisms may ingest the debris or become entangled in it. The presence of microplastics, tiny plastic particles, in deep-sea sediments poses a long-term threat to the health of these ecosystems. Overfishing is another concern. Deep-sea species are often slow-growing and have low reproductive rates, making them particularly vulnerable to overexploitation. Unsustainable fishing practices can lead to the depletion of these species, disrupting the balance of the deep sea food web. Climate change also affects the deep sea. Rising ocean temperatures and increased levels of carbon dioxide are causing changes in deep sea currents and the chemistry of seawater. These changes can impact the delicate balance of deep sea ecosystems, affecting the survival of many species. Conservation efforts are essential to protect these unique environments. International agreements and regulations, such as the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, aim to manage and protect deep-sea resources. Marine protected areas have been established to safeguard critical habitats and biodiversity. Researchers and conservationists emphasize the importance of continued monitoring and research to understand the impacts of human activity on the deep sea. Public awareness and education about the value and vulnerability of deep-sea ecosystems are also crucial in promoting conservation efforts. The mysteries of the Mariana Trench have sparked various theories, including speculation about extraterrestrial encounters during deep-sea missions. Some believe that the depths of our oceans could harbor alien life forms, given the extreme conditions that resemble environments found on other planets and moons. These theories gain traction with reports like the metallic disc sighting, which some suggest could be evidence of advanced technology not of this Earth. Proponents of extraterrestrial theories argue that the deep ocean is an ideal hiding place for alien beings. The lack of sunlight, immense pressure, and remote location make it difficult for humans to explore thoroughly, providing a perfect cover for any extraterrestrial life forms. While these ideas are fascinating, they remain speculative. Mainstream scientists emphasize the importance of evidence-based research and caution against jumping to conclusions without substantial proof. They argue that many of these sightings can be explained by natural phenomena or human-made objects, such as deep-sea equipment or debris. The ocean's vastness and the limitations of current technology often leave room for misinterpretations. However, the search for extraterrestrial life is not confined to the Mariana Trench. The study of extreme environments on Earth, such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents, has provided valuable insights into the potential for life on other planets. These environments host organisms that thrive in conditions previously thought to be uninhabitable, suggesting that life could exist in similar settings elsewhere in the universe. The findings in the Mariana Trench have intriguing parallels with discoveries made during Antarctic expeditions. Both regions are characterized by extreme cold, high pressure, and complete darkness in some areas. These similarities have led scientists to compare the ecosystems and life forms found in these disparate yet analogous environments. One notable discovery from the British Antarctic Survey involved life forms clinging to boulders beneath the ice. These immobile creatures, resembling sponges, were found thriving in pitch-black conditions at depths of 900 meters below the ice. This finding was surprising as it challenged previous assumptions about the ability of life to exist in such extreme environments without sunlight. Similarly, the Mariana Trench has revealed an array of unique and resilient organisms. The discovery of microbial mats in the trench, which utilize chemosynthesis to survive, mirrors the biological processes observed in Antarctic extremophiles. Both sets of discoveries underscore the adaptability of life and provide insights into how organisms can thrive in harsh conditions. The future of deep-sea exploration is bright, with numerous ongoing research projects and expeditions focused on unlocking the secrets of the Mariana Trench. Scientists from around the world are collaborating to study this remote and mysterious environment, using cutting-edge technology to dive deeper than ever before. One ambitious mission is the Five Deeps Expedition, led by explorer Victor Vescovo.
This project aims to reach the deepest points in each of the world's five oceans, with the Mariana Trench being a primary focus. Vescovo's dives have already resulted in the discovery of new species and provided valuable data on the trench's geology and biology. The expedition uses the advanced submersible limiting factor, designed to withstand the extreme pressures of the deep sea. Looking ahead, the prospects for future discoveries in the Mariana Trench are vast. Scientists anticipate uncovering new species that could offer insights into the adaptability of life in extreme conditions. The Mariana Trench offers immense potential for new geological and chemical discoveries, enhancing our understanding of Earth's history and plate tectonics. Researching its biodiversity and geological features could lead to significant advancements in biotechnology, including the development of new materials and medicines inspired by deep-sea organisms. International collaboration is crucial for deep-sea exploration due to its complexity and cost. Collaborative projects enable sharing of resources, expertise, and technology, leading to more comprehensive exploration efforts. The Global Ocean Exploration Consortium, for example, Unite scientists, engineers, and policymakers from various nations to coordinate research and promote sustainable marine resource management. Innovations in submersible technology are advancing deep sea exploration. Modern submersibles, equipped with advanced sensors, cameras, and sampling equipment, enable precise data collection. These vehicles are becoming more autonomous with sophisticated AI systems, and hybrid ROVs and AUVs offer greater flexibility and efficiency. Improvements in battery technology and material science extend the operational range and depth capabilities of submersibles, allowing for longer and deeper missions. Technological advancements benefit marine biology research. Real-time sample collection and analysis from the deep sea revolutionize our understanding of marine ecosystems. Techniques like environmental DNA analysis help scientists identify species based on genetic material found in water samples, offering a non-invasive way to study biodiversity. Deep-sea organisms have unique adaptations to extreme conditions, leading to groundbreaking medical advancements. For example, certain bacteria produce enzymes that work best at high pressures and low temperatures, useful for industrial processes like bioremediation. Additionally, some deep-sea species produce antimicrobial peptides, opening new avenues for developing powerful antibiotics. Studying deep-sea life inspires new materials and technologies. The flexible exoskeletons of deep-sea amphipods could lead to resilient materials for extreme environments. Researchers are exploring the potential of deep-sea sponges to produce novel compounds with pharmaceutical applications, such as anti-cancer agents. The unique structural proteins in these sponges could be used to develop new biomaterials for medical implants and tissue engineering. Deep-sea research is crucial for understanding Earth's climate. Data from the Mariana Trench provide insights into global climate patterns. Deep-sea ecosystems play a significant role in carbon cycling, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Understanding these processes can help develop strategies to mitigate climate change. Moreover, studying deep-sea organisms helps predict the impacts of climate change on marine biodiversity, guiding conservation efforts to protect vulnerable species and habitats. Deep-sea exploration faces psychological and physiological challenges. Prolonged exposure to high-pressure environments affects physiological processes, while isolation and confinement can lead to mental stress. Modern submersibles incorporate advanced safety and comfort features to mitigate these effects. Training programs for deep-sea explorers include rigorous physical training, simulated dives, and mental health preparation. The history of deep-sea exploration dates back to ancient civilizations, with significant advancements during the Renaissance and the Age of Enlightenment. The Challenger expedition from 1872 to 1876 laid the foundation for oceanography by mapping the ocean floor and studying marine life at various depths. Thanks for watching. Keep watching and stay tuned.